Hey there everybody, it's your old pal Cape Joel back again on the DC Fan Channel and even though every time I'm on this channel is a special day, today is especially good because I am here to talk to you about some of the awesome new products that are coming about as part of the partnership between Sci-Fi, the brand new DC Superman show Krypton, and uh, the DC Fan Channel, which is why I'm here in the first place. I got a whole cool tote bag here full of stuff to show you connected to the show. I hope I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, I mean, I guess the first thing we can really talk about is the tote bag in general. I like tote bags. I was a big fan of PBS back in the day when they gave out tote bags. I think more people should do that. Because, you know, you get a nice box full of stuff, even if it is a nice box, you're going to get rid of the box. I am definitely going to reuse this tote bag. And, hey, got the sci-fi logo right on there. So, what do we have in the box? Oh, looks like we got a book. First and foremost, oh, yeah, here we go. We have The Many Worlds of Krypton. A nice collected version of a ton of different Superman stories. What writers do we got in there? We got some Paul Kubenberg, Howard Chaikin, John Byrne, definitely the Superman writer that I uh, relate to the most. Uh, right there, we got some Mike Mignola. You got a little Hellboy love up in that one. Rick Bryant, and yeah, I guess by digging on into it, we can see it's a collection of a bunch of Krypton-centric stories. Again, get you all nice and interested for the show, which airs this week, I'm pretty sure, as I sit and record this. Uh, yeah, nice, nice version there. All good, good golden and silver age art up in there. Nice little uh, history. There, of course, there's been a ton of really awesome Krypton-centric Superman stories, even as far as just recently. Uh, with all the Mr. Ah stuff and Booster Gold and all the traveling back in time because Superman needed to see the destruction of Krypton for himself. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Now what else do we have in here? We got another, got another thin one that looks like a book. Oh, we got the world of Krypton. Again, keeping with the theme. There's a theme if you didn't know. It's all about Krypton. And hey, on the back of this one, it even tells you the premiere date, Wednesday, March 21st. You can see the show. I'm recording this on a Tuesday, so that's tomorrow as I do this. And that is, of course, on the Sci-Fi channel. You can check that out. Now, what do we got in here? Yeah, this looks like another reprinted collection of cool stories from the history of Krypton. This in a nice floppy format there. Ooh, I like uh, I like the artwork on the inside of that one too. And of course, you got the cool variant, which is related to the new show. I'm not gonna lie, when I heard about Krypton as a show, I wasn't totally on board because I was like, you know, we're doing another Superman-less Superman show. I know it's been like a decade since Smallville. Gotham is hit or miss with its Batman-less Batman show, but the thing that actually turned me around on it was getting to see that Jeff Johns uh, presented trailer of Brainiac, you know, the Brainiac that was more in line with the one from his stories and everything. That one was cool. That one I liked and apparently Krypton is going to involve a lot of time travel and Adam Strange is going to be there. So I don't know, man. I'm definitely going to check out the first episode and I can check out the first episode again Wednesday, March 21st. Uh, I know because it tells me on the back, which is always good to know. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, we got a little card, again, reminding us the date and time of the show. And hey, look, we got all the different uh, house symbols on there. Again, I get the distinct feeling that this uh, show is going to be a little Game of thrones -ian, but with all the different houses. You got the House of El, the House of Zod, etc., etc. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, I feel a shirt. I feel a shirt up in here. Let's just unbutton that for a second. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, Krypton, you got the Superman shield going on and everything, and it's orange. That's slick, I like the orange. I have a lot of Superman shirts that are, of course, the classic red and blue, or the black and silver for the death of Superman. I like orange. Orange is a good color on me, I feel. This is, this is nice, I like that. I like that a lot. And again, too, hey, got the name of the show and the name of the network on the back, in case you forget. Krypton, sci-fi, Wednesday. Uh, we got one last thing in here. Just gonna take that out of its box that it's in. Oh, nice! Oh, nice, look at that! It's a rechargeable, uh, like, power source, like to charge your phone and stuff, but it's shaped like a Kryptonian crystal. Oh, that's a really good idea. That is slick. You got the House of L symbol on the front there. I really like that. It's made of nice strong plastic too, so if I was to drop it, it would probably still work. That is great. 
I need one of these too. I go to a lot of comic conventions and I'm always needing to recharge my phone and recharge my camera. Oh man, I'm gonna make everyone jealous when I come through with one of these. That is awesome. That is a great merch idea. I'm amazed no one thought of this before. I really like that. If I had to pick a winner, even though I liked everything, this is the thing I like the most out of it. Oh, that's so cool. So there you go everyone, that's everything in the bag. Again, I want to thank the DC Fan Channel for letting me come in and do this. I want to thank Sci-Fi, and yeah, hopefully this gets you in the mood to watch Krypton, which again, is Wednesday. I'm recording this on a Tuesday. I don't know when this video is going up, but hey, if you're not doing anything March 21st, be sure to check out the show. So with that, everyone, this has been Cape Joel. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I will be back again next time, hopefully with some more great content for you. So until then, bye-bye.